every tree. The branches felt tough as metal. Hyunsha, have you ever seen material like that before? What if I have? You gonna go get a sample for me? I was thinking about it, yeah. Isn't it just an ornamental tree? <laughs> have you ever seen an ornamental tree move? Have you ever seen one bore through the ground like that, eh? So what if it moves? I just need to run over and saw off a sample. I can't grow faster than I can run, right? Sure, go ahead. Here's a crowbar and a saw. Don't say I didn't warn you when the Cloud Knights have to scrape you off the walls. Well, I, I, uh, I've been feeling a bit under the weather lately. <clears throat> uh, Yuncha, you're the most uh, agile person on the materials team when it comes to operational efficiency. <laughs> under the weather, huh? How convenient. As for me, I'd rather stay alive, thanks. I've never seen the Ambrosial Arbor look like this before. Is this how it looked back in the day? Master Gong Shu. Are you guys Cloud Knights? Are you here to save us? Your clothes. <sighs> I knew I was getting ahead of myself. You're just tourists. Sorry this crisis came during your trip. I'm sorry it came at all. Yeah, you just need to tell us what the trouble is. <laughs> General Jing Yuan pulled out all the stops to get us here. You can trust us. You mean the General invited you? Is that a joke? The Lafu has the Cloud Knights. Why would he send outsiders? There's been a serious incident in the Artisanship Commission. Nobody's in the mood for jokes, miss. You misunderstand, young sir. We genuinely want to help. Can you tell us what happened here? Waiting around, that's what. We ran away. It was way too dangerous in there. Please, if you plan on living a little longer, don't go in there. There's been some kind of botanical disaster. It was like an ornamental tree somewhere suddenly started to grow. There were branches so thick you couldn't put your arms around them. It spread everywhere. The whole commission is being destroyed. I don't get it. The Artisanship Commission focuses on the mechanical. We've got nothing to do with hydroponics or accelerated growth. Where did that thing come from? The worst thing is, my master is still inside. Master Gong Shu is the most experienced craftsman in the Artisanship Commission smelting works. He's in charge of our research project. When the incident happened, he dragged me, Ziming, and Yuncha to safety. But then he turned around and ran back in. I need to wait here for the Cloud Knight so I can tell them to rescue him. Why did he run back in? Is research data more important than life? I just heard him shout, it's gone. We lost the furnace. By the time we realized, he had already vanished. Anyway, you said you're here to help us, right? 100%. The General sent us. You don't have to believe us. The Astral Express doesn't shout about its achievements. We'll look for your master. In that case, take this Jade Seal with you. If you find my master, please bring him out safe and sound, if anything happens to him. Don't worry, young sir. Your master's safety is our... None of us would be able to graduate this year. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, let's go. I think this conversation's run its course. Botanical disaster? It must be the Ambrosial Arbor. But what about 
the furnace his master mentioned. As expected, the divination was correct. If I hadn't repaired the shifting screen today, we'd have all been trapped. We'd be fertilizer by now. Still, the teleportation range wasn't enough. Stellaron facilitated the resurrection of the Ambrosial Arbor. The severity of the corrosion becomes worse as it grows. <sighs> Look, the roots are coming up through the ground. I'm afraid we've got some gardening work to do. your feet to tread. Leave from whence you came, or soon be dead. Dead. Stay away. If you come any further, I'll not spare you. Uh, hold on. Let us explain. We're not... What excuses do you have? Surprise me. Just passing by. Stumbled in. Door wide open. Hmm. Within commissioned grounds today was sown. An evil spun by hands unseen, unknown. No longer. If the security mechanisms didn't teach you a lesson, these robots will. Show no mercy. A foregone conclusion. Conflict is hideous. Golden Cloud Toad, Illumination Dragonfish, are you all right? Wake up, I raise you like my own flesh and blood. <gasps> Did you really have to destroy my little friends? I want compensation. You didn't want to listen to us. We were here to rescue you and you started a fight for no reason. Uh, how do you know my name, child? Does the reputation of Gong Shu Liang, the smelter extraordinaire, proceed one? <sighs> this guy's pretty deluded for a master. We're passing through on our way to the Alchemy Commission at the behest of General Jing Yuan and Diviner Fu. We'd like you to show us the way, Master Gong Shu. R really? The general sent you? Then this must be a mere misunderstanding. <laughs> uh, don't worry about those things. Easy to fix. But there's not much I can do to help. The artisanship commission was suddenly taken over by some evil tree demon. It seized our most precious possession. The creation furnace. It's a dark and powerful entity. The robots. It was like they gained consciousness. 
They were moving in a circle around it. I fear approaching it is tantamount to suicide. But then, I couldn't just run away, knowing what lies sealed in the furnace. I'm sure General Jing Yuan must have believed wholeheartedly that you could save the Artisanship Commission from this crisis. Means I know of may yet serve your fight. Pray you in repayment aid my plight. <laughs> come, come on, <laughs> through here. One of the Artisanship Commission's prototypes, the Shifting Screen. <laughs> Good thing I got the students to take it out and make a few adjustments. Otherwise, they'd never have managed to get out in time. You all saw the Jade Gate on your way in, I assume. The Shifting Screen works in the same way. It connects two spatial coordinates in ways that laymen <laughs> wouldn't understand. Indeed, with limited range and energy costs aside, to every star skiff soon shall woe be tied. You sure about that? Even our trailblazing space anchors sound better. Thank goodness you take the time to perfect these inventions, Master. If not, the Skyfaring Commission would have become quite redundant by now. Ordinarily, I could have used this beauty to teleport you thither. But through earth and air, the wretched branches boiled. The shifting screen entangled vents and coiled. Observant, you would make an excellent student. The commission is more than a match for Mother Nature. Ah! Oh, piteous tree, who think thyself so strong? Your match and more in strength to meet ere long. This is the first thing that came to mind when the tree demon attacked. It's a mechanical device codenamed the Illumination Chest. I invented this weapon for the Cloud Knights. It's incredibly powerful, but... Uh... Let me guess. Limited range? Energy costs? Yeah. Every light has its shadow. But this is more than enough to deal with the Tree Demon. And then... Ignite! Fire beats wood! There's no way we can lose! The master reveals the door, but the apprentice must walk through it. You're much better than my useless students. Whoa, 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 what's happening? 
Is the Delve collapsing? <laughs> Seems like it worked. That tree demon must be writhing in pain. <laughs> All right, there's no time to lose. Hurry through the shifting screen to the opposite side before the branches grow back. Ship Commission's most precious invention, the Creation Furnace! Help me, dear young friends! Let's hack them away together! We can't let the roots punch through the furnace! Careful, it's changing. <laughs> to me. Stay right there while I give you a present! <laughs> Time for a shot. Savor the vigor of it. I'm okay. I, I'm not afraid of you.
damage we do, it just heals itself. Not fair. We'll have to retreat for now. Follow me. The Siencho is so scared of the abominations of abundance. They're unstoppable. Miss Ting Yun, are the long life species on the Siencho all like this? I'm afraid this Ebon Deer was likely birthed by the Ambrosial Arbor as its guardian. It shares a close connection with the Arbor's roots. Most living creatures on the Siencho don't have abilities like this. Huh? As long as it's there, we can't get any closer. I wonder... The Ebon Deer seems to heal itself instantly, but perhaps it's drawing that power from elsewhere. The monster only seems to be active in the vicinity of the Arbor. Let's look around and see if we can find anything. I don't think we're in a position to take down this deer until we've dealt with its regenerative abilities. So the General asked you to head to the Alchemy Commission, hmm? Ah, the Artisanship Commission had no choice but to halt operations once the Sea Demon appeared. Young friends, I have a suggestion. Why don't we head that way? Any thoughts, Master Gongshu? Hmm. When the deer revives, the surrounding roots glow brightly. Oh, great observation, Mr. Gongshu. It's amazing what you notice when you're not fighting. <laughs> I'm only an artisan, after all. My skills in Clash of Swords shall find no sake. Yet, that which clasheth needeth hands to make. As Mr. Yang said, the deer monster is likely drawing power from somewhere in order to replenish itself. I'm certain that when the arbor glows, we are witnessing that very process. Precisely. You remember how we untangled the shifting screen with fire. Oh, you're right. Those roots never grew back. Not only that, its reaction suggested we'd hurt it. Perhaps that's our starting point. Take hold of your weapons, young comrades. Let's raise these roots to the ground!
here. It's thunder! <laughs> Annihilate. I hope I help. I don't think we're in a position to take down this deer.
if you find any components, can I have them? Moment. I'll set up the device. The Ambrosial Arbor's root system must have spread far underground. The only thing we can say with confidence is that we removed the majority of those within the bounds of the Artisanship Commission. Let's hurry, before they have a chance to grow back. So, the next step is... Ah, oh, let's go.
A well-matched opponent. Here, this thunder! I want to protect everyone too! Help me, Mr. Sorrow! Stay right there while I give you a present! Naughty children, don't listen. You're in bad shape. I need to be brave. Hide. the vigor of I I'm not afraid of you <laughs> time radiant spirit heed my word show no mercy you can't run I'll try hard sometimes check out this awesome move I need to be brave Commencing annihilation. Time to lose. Conflict is pitiless. You have the worst luck running into me. <sighs> Sure. 
king. It'll be a shame if they get smashed to pieces. Check out this awesome move! Favor the vigor. I need to be brave. Commencing annihilation. The master stroke. Radiant spirit. Need my word. Show no mercy! Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Time to lose. to me. Bigger. Uh, 
Hunter. <laughs> Time for the Matt Radiant Spirit. Heed my word. Show no mercy! Time to lose. Here, this thunder. <laughs> Time for a shot. Savor the vigor of I I'm not afraid of you. Commencing annihilation. Follow my charge. Conflict is pitiless. You have the worst luck running Just into in me. Time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Oh, thanks a lot. General Jing Yuan said the Ambrosial Arbor was an unfathomable celestial blessing. At first glance, that deer could have been an ordinary life form, but the ability to heal such grave wounds in an instant. I think I finally understand why the Xianzhou decided to follow the hunt in eradicating the abundance. If Immortal creations were left to spread their branches and roots throughout the universe. Entire ecosystems would collapse. No wonder the people of the Sienjo wander the universe, never settling on a planet. You are a man of vision, Mr. Yang. It's a shame our ancestors, the Elixir Seekers, were unable to see that hidden curse 8,000 years ago. Perhaps some of them did reject the Plague Author's gift. But how could an entire civilization resist the temptation of immortality? <sighs> Ironic, isn't it? The wise are buried, while the fools remain immortal. The Sienjo regrets being led astray by the Abundance. That's why they have decided to embark on the path of the hunt. Maybe it's not too late for redemption. Thank you for your help. I realize you must continue on to the Alchemy Commission, to the Ambrosial Arbor. After witnessing what happened here, I know there will only be more danger ahead. Go, friends, and stay vigilant. I wish you a safe journey.
Thank you for your help. Those useless students and I will take care of the rest here. If worst comes to worst, we still have the Cloud Knights. It's only a legend. Though what with the Ambrosial Arbor having come back to life, I suppose it's no longer absurd. They say that a long time ago, when the Sienjo Alliance was adrift in deep space, it encountered many unimaginable life forms. Among them were abominations known as Heliobi. They existed in the form of pure energy, but craved the sensations and desires of mortal flesh and blood. Sometimes they managed to infiltrate the delves of the Sienjo in order to bewitch humans and become parasites of their bodies. It's said that mortals parasitized by Heliobi would lose their free will imperceptibly before gradually going berserk. After a prolonged struggle, the people of the Sienjo finally managed to trap and seal the Heliobi in a vessel. That vessel is the Creation Furnace. Our predecessors hoped that by burning the Heliobi in the furnace, their energy would gradually be exhausted until they were completely destroyed. I don't know if there are demons in the furnace. Perhaps it's all just superstition. However, from the day I started learning from my master, I've looked after the operation of the furnace. Indeed, the flame inside has never been extinguished. Everything happens so quickly. Uh, my students and I were caught by surprise. I'm not overly surprised. The Alchemy Commission's alchemists were once closer to the Arbor than anyone else on the Law Fu. They say that when the Sienjo Law Fu was first granted the Ambrosial Arbor, the alchemists in the Alchemy Commission wielded tremendous influence. Using the power of the armor, they transformed mortal bodies, manipulated the weather, and even brought never-before-seen creatures into being. They called themselves saints. Unfortunately, they didn't possess any saintly powers. As soon as the Ambrosial Arbor withered, the alchemists lost their status and were reduced to medical researchers and practitioners. Everything happens so. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus? Uh, now there's an old name. They say that when the Sienjo Law Fu was first granted the Ambrosial Arbor, the alchemists in the Alchemy Commission wielded tremendous influence. Using the power of the armor, they transformed mortal bodies, manipulated the weather, and even brought never-before-seen creatures into being. They called themselves saints. Unfortunately, they didn't possess... I'm sorry I'm not able to accompany you further. <laughs> 
I've always hated owing a favor. Take these with you. Rewards for your tireless efforts. Thank you for your help. Those useless students and I will take care of the rest here. If worst comes to worst, we still have the Cloud Knights. I'm sorry I'm not... Uh, This is the Lafu's Ambrosial Arbor. It's my first time seeing it. Aren't you a Cloud Knight? Cloud Knights don't visit the Ambrosial Arbor without a reason. Plus, I'm new here. The Lafu's plague mark is a tree, while the Yao Ching's is a moon. <laughs> I think we got the better one. I heard that the Ambrosial Arbor shriveled and died a long time ago. How could it suddenly spring back to life and start growing again? The influence of the Stellaron. There's no time for explanations. We must return to the Ten Lords Commission. I'm wounded. I need your assistance in getting there. Once we get to Starskiff Jetty, you can go your separate ways. Well, there's nothing else for it. We're duty-bound to help the Ten Lords Commission. Sorry. All Cloud Knights answer to the Ten Lords Commission. Uh, duty calls. Apologies for asking you to stick with me a bit longer. I'll treat you guys when I get you back to safety. Um, I guess you could slip away and find a safe spot to hide. I'll come back and get you once I've sent her on her way. Not a smart way to operate. The Lafu is more dangerous than ever. I can't let you put yourself in harm's way. Come on, together is better. Ah, sorry. All Cloud Knights answer to the Ten Lords Commission. Uh, duty calls. Apologies for asking you to stick with me a bit longer. I'll treat you guys when I get you back to safety. Um... I guess you could slip away and find a safe spot to hide. I'll come back and get you once I've sent her on her way. Come on, together is better. You look familiar. Maybe. I ran your facial profile against the records in the Shackling prison just now. Indeed, there were no matches to be found. You look familiar. Hmm. Maybe. I ran your facial profile against the records in the Shackling prison just now. Indeed, there were no matches to be found. You look familiar. Don't be nervous. I ran your facial profile against the records in the Shackling prison just now. Indeed, there were no matches to be found. <laughs> I did not expect such a short journey to be filled with 
So many twists and turns. How does it feel, Master Don Hung, to be a subject of the Ten Lords Commission? A good answer. Short and to the point. It would seem I've been unsuccessful in detangling myself of matters thus far. I suggest we hasten to Starskiff Jetty and send this judge of the Ten Lords Commission on her way. We must continue our own journeys as soon as possible. <laughs> How does it feel, man? A good answer. Short and to the point. It would seem... I suggest we hasten... Apologies. Um, come on. You look familiar. Hmm, I ran your facial. <laughs> How does it feel? A good answer. I suggest. judge I've met. What do you guys do, exactly? Our work concerns the Mara Struck and the lifespans of long-life species. Oh! <laughs> Hopefully you'll be the last one I meet for a while, then. Indeed. Be careful, everyone. Take caution. Here is thunder! Show no mercy! Not death, for the fate of the Artisanship Commission now rests entirely on my shoulders. <coughs> Not a chance! A sigh, escape while you still can. There's no hope of the Cloud Knights arriving now. As darkness falleth, think not what is just. To this old man entrust your hopes, you must. Don't try to be a hero. Hi! Since when were you able to speak? Hey, do I sound like a dog to you? No! Oh, my apologies, miss. No wonder I was confused. I never installed a human speech module in the little guy. No. But what is the meaning of this? I'm the only one left here. The apprentices all fled. You should probably do the same. You just said there's no hope of the Cloud Knights arriving. I happen to be a Cloud Knight. Wouldn't you call this a timely arrival? Come with us for now. I'll take care of things here later. That won't do. As a senior artisan, I can't just abandon my post. <sighs> Looks like we're gonna have to resort to unconventional methods. Are you going to come with us willingly, or do I have to ask the guy behind me to carry you in his white death box? I... I... Can you give me a moment to consider those options? Now! Move it! Miss Cloud Knight, why did the General send you out here all alone? The extent of the disaster means the Cloud Knights are short on manpower. But don't worry, I'll keep you safe. Uh, 
This is as far... A few more steps and we're at the main gate. Thank you for escorting me. We must go our separate ways. It's just a few steps away. You're not leaving with us? Everyone has their duties and obligations. From the day I joined the Artisanship Commission, I've been taking care of the ins and outs of its operations without a day's rest. And today is no exception. The apprentices fled as they should have, but I cannot let them see their master flee from peril. This is as far as I go with you. I must see what more I can do for the Artisanship Commission. <sighs> Master Gongshu. No use in trying to talk me out of it, young miss. This old man cherishes his life. He won't do anything rash. On your way now. Everyone has their duties. Let's go. still have more to do, no? Onward. I can't just abandon the commission. I must think of a way to solve all this. Doesn't look like it wants to let us through. Do you think if I yell at it, it could scare it off? <laughs> I doubt that. I think Atsai is the only one here still taking orders from... people. Any ideas? Hmm. I've got one. Bring it down. You know, you're getting less silent and more deadly by the minute. Sounds good. Let's get it. A well-matched opponent. Here, it's thunder! Watch this awesome move! You don't seem to have any backup. Judges of the Ten Lords Commission have always acted independently, each carrying out their duty in solitude. However... However... I have a younger sister. You remind me of her. Master Gong Shu! How could you stay inside? I... I'm afraid that if I leave, I won't be able to graduate. Whoa. You saw it, right? What happened to the Artisanship Commission? <sighs> Did someone overfeed their houseplant or something? How could I desert the Artisanship Commission in its time of need? Hey, Yuncha. If we switch the material for the Arumatons with whatever that crazy plant's made of, would that eliminate maintenance? You know, Ziming, I say we focus on surviving today for now. How could I leave? This is a novel engineering material. 
If I leave now, I may never get another chance to conduct research on it. Oh, don't pay attention to my silly fellow apprentice, sir. He, uh, if he's set on staying here, I can't exactly leave him here alone, can I? Hey, Yunsha. You know, Zeming. How could I leave? Oh, don't pay. There's the star skip. The rebirth of the Ambrosial Arbor was bound to bring calamity. The Cloud Knights must be at the Alchemy Commission, next to the Arbor. You should head the same way. Thank you for ensuring my safety on this journey. I will report this good deed to the Ten Lords. And if the opportunity arises, I will return the favor. We're glad we could help. She mentioned the Cloud Knights were at the Alchemy Commission. I should find a ship and regroup with my unit. What about you? Aw, you just can't bear to see me go, huh? Come on then, let's go together. We are most grateful, Miss Sushan. I sense you're in good spirits. I wouldn't be envious. This is not an innate ability. Merely compensation for my visual impairment. Ultimately, 
Nothing I hear or smell can match the vividness of the colors that you perceive. Let's get down to business. I analyzed the prescription you procured, the draft of Draconic Surge. Now that I have a preliminary conclusion, it needs to be delivered to the seat of Divine Foresight. The conclusion... Put simply, I don't believe that the draft of Draconic Surge holds the cure to the Mara. Even in the foreseeable future, there will likely not be any such cure. I've compiled the details into a written analysis. If you're interested, feel free to take a look. This is a copy of pharmacological studies on the draft of Draconic Surge. If the Chief Counselor wants to see it urgently, I'll have to ask you to deliver it for me. Need something else? Isn't the Seat of Divine Foresight anxious to learn about the prescription? Hey, uh, there's something I need to tell you. You're back. Anything you wanted to share? Wow. Even for those alchemists, that was fast. Don Shu. W wait, why would the Alchemy Commission's chief alchemist be away from her post? I've heard that the chief alchemist is visually impaired. She rarely leaves the Alchemy Commission Delph. She has a vast knowledge and expertise. No wonder she was able to analyze the pharmacology so quickly. Let me see her report. No cure? <sighs> Where did these villains get their hands on such a complex prescription? This is infuriating. Still, this is a clue we can follow. Thank you. Please accept these gifts for your efforts. Those were rewards from the Seed of Divine Foresight. These are gifts from me, personally. You've done so much for the Lafu. For the Sienjo. This is the least I could do. Sudden loss of communication with the Alchemy Commission, Delve. It seems there's more going on than meets the eye. I came up from Scarce. Thank you for coming on such short notice. Thank you for coming on such... My stay in Exalting Sanctum was supposed to be focused on treating people and delivering medicine. But the Seat of Divine Foresight tasked me with analyzing the prescription. I've been severely delayed. I've already concocted some of the medicine in question. But there can't be any further delays. Could you assist me in ensuring it arrives on time? Thank you. The patient in question is a little girl. If she's gotten into any trouble, be sure to let me know when you get back. This is the medicine. Her house is near the Court of Tranquility. It shouldn't be hard to find her.
Is this the one Don Shu sent me to find? Did she come here to treat other sightless people? Aw, little Miss Lady can't see ahead. Can't see right, can't see left. Heads to the east, ends up west. <laughs> She's stuck! <laughs> she can't get down! Hey, what you looking at, Outworlder? Mind your own business! Who do you think you are? Keep your nose out of this! I beat people up all the time! Yeah, get lost! Stop meddling in our business! And help me up already! Uh, they use some kind of hidden power! I saw it! You're a cheater! That's right! If you hadn't cheated, I would have knocked your lights out! You sure about that, boss? They didn't even flinch! Ugh! Shut up! Boss, let's get out of here! We shouldn't fight anyone that doesn't respect martial arts! Hmm. <laughs> I'll let you off the hook this time. Next time we fight fair and square. Yeah! <sighs> Thank you for helping me, mister. It's my fault. I shouldn't have wandered off on my own. Then I wouldn't have run into those guys. And they always laugh at me for being blind. And they like to trip me up and steal my things. <laughs> Thank goodness you were here. Otherwise, they wouldn't have let me off so easily. Shu asked you to come? Things are bad on Olafu recently. Don Shu must be very busy. Thank you, mister. Remember to thank her for me. Why does she wander about alone? Well, I've delivered the medicine. I should report back to Don Shu. I came up from Starskiff Haven Justice. How was she? Did you deliver the medicine? She reminds me of myself, when I was a child. I also had to find my way in the dark. Face obstacles I couldn't predict. As well as deal with unconscious prejudices people had against me. If I was ever injured by bullies or after a fall, I'd run crying to the healers at the Alchemy Commission and ask them to heal me. I suppose that's why I followed in their footsteps. To pay a little kindness forward. Thank you for looking after the child. Could I ask you for another favor, friend? I want to meet the little girl. Can you lead me to her? I worry about her wandering around on her own. And I want to know what's been on her mind lately. Her parents passed away in the denizens of Abundance Wars. The relatives who took her in aren't close to her. And whenever I treat her, she often confides in me. A healer's medicine might remedy one's physical health. But sometimes, the loneliness and hurt inside one's heart needs companionship and care to heal. 
She told me that whenever she's feeling troubled, she finds a quiet corner in the Artisanship Commission and just sits there, letting the sounds wash over her. Her parents used to be artisans in the Commission, so I think she has some nostalgic connection to the place. In all likelihood, that's where she'll be. <sighs> There's danger around every corner these days, especially for a sightless child. Let's go. What's happening? Is the girl in trouble? your heart, then how will you manage such an arduous path? I'm not trying to console her. This is the reality. Walking alone in the darkness, fearing every incoming, invisible obstacle, unable to understand other people's descriptions. Everyone, everything is like a hot coal in the dark. Invisible, yet still able to burn you. As a long life species, she can expect life to continue like this for nearly a thousand years. She must learn to depend upon herself rather than just foolishly waiting around for the next hero to swoop in and save her. One hopes that would be the case. But that would require someone to be by her side every waking second of every day. In the meantime, she'll have to learn to withstand the darkness. Just as I have. Hey, you're right, aren't you? <laughs> From now on, I'll do my best to rely on myself. Good. I hope you remember this. Forever. This place is too dangerous. Let's head back to Exalting Sanctum. Thank you again. For all you've done. It would seem we incomplete ones are often bullied from a tender age. I endured in numerous hardships to become Chief Alchemist. Yet, there are still things that leave me feeling helpless. That's the reason I said what I said. You might mistake my words for being hurtful. But the truth is, no amount of words can prepare her for what lies ahead. For long life species, these things are permanent. Whether we are beautiful or ugly, 
tall or short, wise or foolish, all of it is encoded into our flesh from the moment we are born. The impairments of short life species can be corrected with ingenia or surgery. But that's an impossibility for Sienjo natives. No matter the method employed, our bodies will eventually return to their original states. I too was once a non-believer. I fooled myself into acquiring artificial eye implants. Soon thereafter, my sightless eyes began to regenerate, and I was left in pain and despair. That brief window of sight that I regained has turned into a perpetual source of anguish, forever etched into my mind. For long life species, this incompleteness is a permanent, unavoidable tenance. <laughs> what a joke. Even the denizens of abundance, so called abominations, needn't endure such torture. Perhaps we incomplete ones are merely traitors, cursed by the plague's author. It's nothing. Forget I said anything. Thank you for sticking with me through all of this. I think my aspirations in Exalting Sanctum have been met, for now. Oh, I have a gift for you. Though I'll need a little time to prepare it. I'll contact you once it's ready to collect. See you soon, friend. Your footsteps still linger. Could it be that you still have unanswered questions? Ask, and I shall answer to the best of my ability. Not all incompletions are without remedy. Take my Ingenium arm, for example. It doesn't require any invasive surgery and operates by detecting bioelectric signals on my skin. My eyes are another story. The optic nerves never fully developed. Transplants are a temporary solution, but they are soon rejected by the superior healing powers of the Sienjo natives. The entire process is worse than death. There are many similar cases. Skeletal deformities, soft tissue defects, congenital heart disease. The list goes on. For short life species, all these problems can be solved with artificial organs and implants. For long life species, however, they remain as incompletions. To give a common example, did you know that to varying degrees, most Sanjo natives are plagued by oral diseases and jaw related conditions? For most living creatures, wisdom teeth need to be removed as early as possible. But for us long-life species, they are as stubborn as boulders. We must endure them for as long as we live. You see, this is the truth about the vessel of celestials. Nothing more than a vessel of the incomplete. For beings transformed by the abundance, there's a difference. Do you know how abominations of abundance and Sienjo people differ? I've given this question much thought, using all the knowledge I've learned from the Alchemy Commission to answer it. But deep down, I know there is only one correct answer. There is no difference. The only difference between us is whether we embrace or reject the long life placed upon us by the abundance. The Borisans, known for their ferocity among the denizens of abundance, are similar to the Foxians of the Yaoqing genetically. But the Foxians are not abominations. They're Sienjo people. From there, we can say that the difference between an abomination 
and the Sienjo person is not one of taxonomy, but one of culture. If an abomination aligns with the Sienjo, then they are a Sienjo person. If a Sienjo person aligns with the abominations, they become an abomination themselves. It is that simple. Abominations embrace their nature. They change and modify their flesh without care for the sake of attaining power and strength. However, to the Sienjo people, these methods are completely taboo. Now you know why there are no incomplete ones among the abominations. I'm just an alchemist. I don't understand them in any detail. I only know that they are a group of Sienjo people who view themselves as denizens of abundance. My guess is that they attribute their suffering to their decision to renounce the path of the plague's author. Thus, they seek to save themselves by becoming denizens of abundance again. I have a gift for you, but I'll need a little time to prepare it. I'll contact you once it's ready to collect. See you soon. Your footsteps still lay. Ask. I have a gift for you. See you soon. Ten Lords Commission? I think they just made things up. Novel about the Ten Lords Commission? I think Have they you just read the novel about up. the Ten Lords Commission? Hmm. Go right ahead. Mr. CEN said that making bookworms feel at home is more important than getting them to buy something. All we ask is that you find a quiet spot away from the browsing areas. There you are, friend. You've been running so many errands lately. 
I'd like for you to take some useful items away with you. Examining the exhibits in the Seat of Divine Foresight inspired me to create this. I referenced some historical texts and concocted a medicine that can extend your lifespan and improve your health. I call it the Broomdew Concentrate Pellet, and I'd like you to have it. Consuming it will make your body light, agile, and promote longevity and well-being. As a nameless, it'll make your journey a much less arduous one. Well then, that's that. I've still got some other business to attend to, so shall we say goodbye for now? Perhaps the next time we meet, I'll be able to see you in the true sense of the word. It's not that I don't trust Danshu, but this doesn't seem like something I should take lightly. Something feels off. I'd better talk to Ching Tzu at the Seat of Divine Foresight. What does the Seat of Divine Foresight owe the pleasure? Huh. I understand. You say you have suspicions about this pellet she gave you? How about this? Leave this Broomdew Concentrate pellet with me, and I'll find someone to run a few tests on it. I need to find a trustworthy alchemist so you'll need to wait here a while. It isn't easy to find trustworthy people like yourself in these perilous times. Thank the stars you were wise enough not to take that pellet. My alchemists were able to extract many forbidden components. The result is identical to the Disciples' mysterious prescription. I had a suspicion that there might be a spy in the Alchemy Commission, but I never expected it to be someone so high up in the organization. I'll put out a wanted notice for Don Shu immediately. If you find any trace of her, get in touch with me. Take this detain with you. It might just help you find this... friend. I had a suspicion that there might be a spy in the Alchemy Commission. But I never expected it to be someone so high up in the organization. You're prudent, and that's a good trait to have. Just try not to let your emotions cloud your judgment. I had a suspicion that there... I understand how you feel. I've also been fooled by someone I regarded as a good friend. It's a dreadful experience. That tree or Don Shu isn't here. Where could she be? Got it. Don Shu's medicine box has her scent on it. I'll ask the D-Ting that Ching Zhu let me to track her. Time to come out, little D-Ting. I need you to help me find Don Shu.
That's Don Shu. With a group of disciples? I guess that tells me all I need to know. Master, stand back. Let me handle this. Stand down. He's a friend. Many of our brethren have fallen by his hands. Yes, I am aware. What? I said he's my friend. Leave us. Yes, Master. I didn't expect you to come looking for me. The head? What a crude way of putting it. I am Master of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Scion of Merciful Medicus, and I shall lead the entire Sienjo Alliance onto the path of abundance. Did you ingest the Broomdew Concentrate pellet I gave you? I admire your vigilance. What a shame. So many elixir seekers arrive on the Sienjo in the hope of obtaining the formula to immortality. But none have succeeded. Their aspirations are well founded. The Sienjo does indeed harbor the secret to becoming immortal. I admire you. So, I thought I'd give you the chance to obtain it. The Broomdew Concentrate pellet will turn you into a long life species. You will feel the limitless freedom of the form bestowed upon you by Merciful Medicus. By not taking it, you are foregoing its benefits. Such a pity. Though, as your friend, I respect your choice. Friend, please. I urge you to leave the Lafu. Abandon this struggle. The truth isn't what it appears to be. What did the minions at the seat of divine foresight tell you about this conflict? That the Rainbow Arbiter is the emissary of the righteous? That the Arbiter is chasing the heathen plague's author across the stars, while the disciples of Sanctus Medicus abet their heresy? Do you really think that is the case? Understand Merciful Medicus, nor the devilish archer author, but you understand me. Do you see me as such? A heretic? I do not ask for you to pick a side. I just wish for you to leave the law foo. To leave this all behind. This isn't your fight, and I do not wish to make an enemy of you. Neither of us is eager to engage in combat. Let us respectfully part ways. I have been thinking. The devilish archer Arthur is not a benevolent god. Nor is merciful Medicus a malevolent one. Your choice to align with Jing Yuan was simply due to meeting him first. Most unfortunate. Had you known me first, Perhaps we could have been good friends. Master, we should leave now. I sincerely wish that this will be our last meeting. Farewell, Nameless. <sighs> I'd better report my findings to Qingzu at the Seat of Divine Foresight.
How did it go? Did you manage to locate Don Shu? So you weren't able to apprehend her. I see. These people have been in hiding for so long. They must have a more nefarious plan. I've got to apprehend them quickly. Once again, thank you for all your help. With your intel, we will put a stop to Don Shu. Jing Yuan tells me you'll be joining the forces led by the Alchemy Commission and Master Diviner. I won't take up any more of your time. Please, take good care of yourself. If you run into Don Shu again, contact the nearest Cloud Knights. Take this as a token of my appreciation. You deserve it. Mr. Sparrow! These people have been in hiding for so long. They must have a more nefarious plan. I've got to apprehend them quickly. <laughs> 